the biggest concern has been just the, the timetable on this. Can you just talk about that a little bit and getting started today and how much time you have between now and early September? Yeah, you know, the timetable with the stadium is a completely different entity than the sod. I, I don't really pay much attention to what's going on in the stadium. I know that we were going to be fine all along with the sod. We had it scheduled for this date, and this date is plenty of time to have the sod available for the team. Uh, we do have to go with a thicker cut sod because of the late date, but that's nothing that hasn't been done before, and I'm totally confident that we're going to be ready. I think our team might want to get out onto the field August 20th for a scrimmage or around there, and I'm very confident that we'll be ready by that time. So this is normal procedure? This is normal procedure. Uh, I think people, when they see cranes on the field a month ago, kind of wonder, oh my God, but uh, the time frame that we're doing this resod, uh, you know, before September 3rd, I'm totally comfortable with, provided uh, we have a good sod product. West Coast Turf has provided us a great product. I've gone down to Eloy to, to check on the sod quality, and it's where we need to be. And as long as we cut it thick enough and uh, everything goes fine, we'll be in good shape come September 3rd. How does this compare to fields of past the Sunday State? It'll be, it'll be the same. Actually, probably a little better. I mean, we had the field completely laser leveled. It's perfectly flat. It's like a pool table out there, and we'll lay the sod down. And, and uh, you know, over the course of time, when you don't resod your field, you can get little, uh, little uh, bumps and valleys in the field. But this will actually be better than in the climate we're in, in, in this time of year. Does, does it a new field take even quicker because of the heat? It, it does. Uh, Bermuda grass is a tropical grass, so it loves monsoon season. Uh, it's just an issue with harvesting and rolling it up and driving it two hours on, on the highway and staging it out here in the parking lot. That's an issue. That's why we've chosen to do the work in the evening. The first roll will be here around 4 o'clock, uh, the first truckload, and we'll start putting that out in the field right away. And then any additional, we're going to have six trucks here tonight and all those additional trucks when they get here it should be getting uh, the sun should be going down and it's much safer to stage that sod while it's waiting to go on the field uh, you know after the sun's gone down so we'll be fine how long will it, will it take you to actually get it all out there well tonight's work will go from 4 p.m. to about 2 a.m. and that'll be a five night process so we'll be sodding uh, Thursday Friday Saturday night uh, Sunday will take an off day and then finishing up on on Monday and Tuesday, but each of those evenings, the the work here at the stadium will take place from 4 p.m. to a roughly 2 a.m. It starts at 1 o'clock down at the farm in Eli with with harvesting the first rolls. So, uh, but we'll we'll be we'll be in good shape. How cool is this for you to, to be a part of this and, put, like you say, put the sod down? That's going to bring a lot of fans and a lot of players' memories that they'll never forget. It is a fun time. It, it, it's a stressful time because there's a number of working parts involved with resodding a field, but it's also a very exciting time. I'm excited. Uh, for whatever reason, people get excited about the field and about the sod. To me, it's kind of a, a job, but I see people talking about it and asking questions about it, so I know it's on people's minds. And uh, it's kind of exciting for me to, to make that happen for everybody. You talk about the working pieces that have to you know, come into play to, to do this. What are some of them? Well, well, there's a crew down in Eloy right now with a, with a machine that's harvesting all the rolls. we got truck drivers that are showing up on time, hopefully, to transport that sod up here. There's an install crew that's coming here to lay it down uh, I'm having a slight irrigation problem on the field right now that I got to fix so uh, you know there's really no room for error in terms of irrigation in terms of trucks breaking down between here and Eloy you know there's there's anything that you can think of that could go wrong that needs to happen but you know, like I say we've been working with West Coast Turf for my 32 years here and I'm confident that everything will go fine so this is a five-day process how many hours total well, 4 p.m. to about 2 a.m., so you're looking at like 10-hour uh, days, but I'll, I'll be in pretty much all day without much sleep. But uh, <laughs> the actual laying the sod is, is about a 10-hour job each night for five nights, so you're looking at uh, 50 hours total uh, time, 660 rolls of sod. You know, there's 22 rolls per truck. The first truck will be showing up here about 4 o'clock, and, and we'll start laying those down. Uh, but that, that'll be the first roll of 660, so it's a, it's a time-consuming process, mainly because of the thickness of the sod. Because of this late date in the summer, we had to cut the, uh, cut the sod at an inch and a quarter depth, and because of that, there's not that many rolls that fit on a truck, and so that's the reason for the, uh, the length of time 
uh, is mainly because of the, the thickness of the saw. How many times, you said 32 years, how many times have you, do you think you put a whole new field? Um, you know, not not rarely. You know, we take pride in our work, and even when the Cardinals were here, uh, it was kind of rare for us to do a mid-season resod. Um, you know, after Super Bowl 30, and maybe after a monster truck show 20 years ago, and then about five years ago, we just kind of cleaned up the field and did a full field resod. So, it really it really hasn't been done that many times. Uh, you know, I, the way I look at it is, you're doing your job as a groundskeeper if you don't have to. But we're kind of forced to right now because of the construction. The reset you're doing now, is it any different than what the reset you did last year? No, just on a greater scale. It's exactly the same, except we were doing, uh, you know, 20,000 20, square feet, and now we're doing 88,000 square feet. So it's, a, it's the same process. The same uh, people are playing the same roles. It's just, a, it's just a, on a bigger scale. So because of doing the east side next year and finishing the north, will you be in the same position a year from now that you are right now? Yeah, just because it's the east side of the state and we pretty much are going to have to cover the whole field, as far as I know, just because the amount of equipment that's required and the cranes and the trucks that need to turn on the field. So we're pretty much going to cover the whole field just like this year and be in the same position again next year, but we'll have a run through right now <laughs> and you know, make it better next year. Yeah. Thanks, Mark.